What's going on, my ASVAB party people? Anderson here, ASVAB coach. And today we're gonna to be talking about percent word problems. Now, we already know word problems are already kind of intimidating because you have to kind of sort through all the information. And then throwing percent into the mix, a complicated one like this, could prove to be a little difficult, but that's why I'm doing this video. In case you didn't know, tonight we're gonna to be doing a session on just this. We're gonna be going over percent word problems in tonight's class, and you can join it with the ASVAB All Access program. So you can check that out at the end, I want you to enjoy this video and let's go ahead and break this down nice and easy. So with that, let's get to it here. So first things first, when reading a problem or any word problem really, what's the question? What is the question? What are we being asked to figure out? And so don't worry about going through all of the information at first, because if you don't know what the information is about, well, it's going to make it a lot harder. So just keep that in mind as you move forward. So first thing we're going to do is we're actually going to go ahead and start with the question sentence itself. So right there, all that in green, that's what we want. And it says here, what will be the cost of the final sale? So remember, we always start with what do we want, then what do we have, and then what's the connection? So what we want, step one again, what we want is again, final sale price or cost or whatever we wanna say it. But at the end of the story, we know we're done when we get the final sale. So taking the information that we have and let's see what we can do with that information. Because when we have the goal in mind, then when we look at the pieces, the information, our brains are automatically like, okay, what can we do with this? What can we do with that? But if we don't know what the purpose is, then I can see for sure why if you're reading this and you're going, okay, use motorcycle, 40%, ah, oh, I'm scared now, 12,000, 5%, ah, oh, 2%, right? It can feel pretty intimidating. So let's go ahead and take it nice, and slow, nice and slow, nice and slow, and actually sort through the info. So step two, what information do we have? And I'll go ahead and use red for this. We see here that Wendy negotiated the price of an, un of an unused motorcycle she would like to purchase. Grammar error right there, sorry about that. She secured a 40% discount from its original price of $12,000. So that's definitely worth writing down. 40% discount off of 12,000. So here we go, 40% discount on 12,000, on 12,000. All right, great. And then we see that right over here, she will pay an additional 5% tax on the purchase by law. All right, sounds good. So 5% tax on the purchase by law. Again, all we're doing is writing our information down. Hopefully this isn't confusing right now. Again, we just wanna make sure that we know what the goal is and what the tools are that we have at our disposal. That's really it. And so here, 5% tax. So all you need to do is understand here really how to work through this. When you have 2%, what do you do? So this is a classic example of a problem that might give people trouble, but this is it. All you have to do is apply the discount and then the tax. Or you can do the tax first and then the discount. The order really doesn't matter. But you gotta make sure that you don't make this one mistake. The mistake that a lot of people make would be this. They think that, oh, a 40% discount with a 5% tax, a lot of people make the assumption, a lot of people make the assumption that this leads to, oh, that's a 35% discount. Yeah, that's what's gonna happen. Yeah, 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 no, no. That is wrong, that is wrong, that is wrong. Right there, that right there, that is wrong. Flat out wrong. That is not what happens. When you have a discount and a tax, you are multiplying um, that number uh, to find that discount. Then you're multiplying it again to find the tax. So it's separate. Discounts and taxes are separate. All that means is that you have to multiply twice. One more time, again, do not just mix those percentages together and think that the result is that. That is the easiest way to get it wrong. Easiest way, easiest way. So if you pick one of the answers based off of that, well, guess what? I wrote that answer on purpose. And so let's go ahead and get this done now. So step three, again, the understanding is apply the discount first, then apply the tax, and then you're done. So here's the thing about the discount. A big mistake that a lot of people are gonna make is this. They'll think that, okay, it's a 40% discount on 12,000. So that means that I'm gonna go ahead and take 40% of 12,000, and that's gonna be the price. Incorrect. If you have a 40% discount, Remember, when you discount, what's the original number? What's the original percent? 
the original percent is always going to be 100%, right? So if you're starting from 100% of anything and you discount it by 40%, you're going down from 100 by 40 and you land on 60%. So to make sure that you do this correctly, you need to understand that a 40% discount means you're paying 60%. Again, one more time. If you are discounting 40%, you are paying the other 60. That makes up 100. So if you take away 40, you still have 60 left. And so that is what's really important here. You're paying 60%. So if you want to turn it in that way, you can get this problem done a lot faster. A lot faster. So with that said, take that 40% out. Make it a 60%. Then what we'll do after, we'll apply the 5% tax. Then we'll apply the 5% tax. But we have to do the discount first, then the tax. Let's get to it. So 60% of 12,000, what's that going to be? We can actually take care of this with mental math, honestly. Because remember that 60 is 10 times 6. Again, 60 is 10 times 6. So what does that mean for us? Well, we can just go ahead and use mental math here and find 10%. And then multiply by six. So what's 10%? Let me zoom in a little bit here. What is 10% of 12,000 going to be? Well, remember, 10% is the same thing as dividing by 10, right? 50% is halfway divided by two. 25%, that's a quarter of the way, a fourth divided by four. 10%, that's a tenth of 100. So divide by 10. Just want to make sure that you understand that nice and easy. Because again, 10% of 12,000, well, 10% of 12,000, just knock off a zero, that's gonna be 1,200. That's gonna be 1,200. And so from there, if we multiply that by six, what is that gonna give us? Well, 12 times six is gonna give us 72. So that's gonna be 7,200. So notice how we didn't have to do much math here. We didn't have to actually write out, okay, you know, what's 60% of 12,000? We didn't have to do 0 0.60 times 12,000, and then we didn't do this. We didn't do all of this, or 0 0.6, or whatever you want to do. We didn't have to do all of that. If we know how to use mental math, we can actually give ourselves a much easier time, like this right there. So I just wanted to expose you to the idea. We actually did a class on mental math with percents last night. So um, hopefully you were able to make that one. But if not, don't worry. Again, we have another paid class tonight. It's going to be an awesome one. Just go ahead and shoot me a text and ask me about it if you're interested. I'll tell you all about it. So with that, we have uh, 7,200, but we are not done here. We're not done. We have to add the 5% tax, okay? We have to include that 5% tax. So really to get that done, what we need to do here is basically find 5% and then add it back, or we can just do 105%. Either way is going to work. And I'm gonna show you both ways. So again, our options here, our options, are A, find 5% of 7,200, then add back. That is option A. Option B is going to be, so option B, I'll use green for this. Option B, find 105% of 7,200. Again, both of these methods are going to work. Both of these are gonna work just fine. The reason I know that is simply because of this. When you are taking a 5% tax, you're adding 5% on top of what you have. So essentially, you can take the 5% and then add it back to what you had, or you can add it back to the percent and get it done in one sweep because 105% is 5% above 100. 100 meaning 7,200, 5% above that, there's your tax included already. And so we can do it either way. We can do it either way. I know I'm talking a lot, so let me go ahead and get to it here. I got y'all. So 5% of 7,200. I'm just making sure I'm teaching you those little steps here. But here we go. So 5% of 7,200, well, the way that we can treat that is we can basically say that 5% is essentially like 1% times 5. Again, 5% is the same thing as 1% times 5. What's 1% of 7,200? This is a convenient thing here. 1% is the same thing as dividing by 100. Again, 1 fits into 100 100 times. So divide by 100, bam, bam. That's 72 times 5. 
What's 72 times five? Well, with mental math, again, obviously you can do 72 times five. I'm not gonna knock you for doing that, all right? But I wanna show you some mental math here. If you're multiplying by five, that's the same thing as multiplying by 10 over two. 10 over two, 10 divided by two is five. So you can just multiply by 10, then divide by two. Nice and easy. So the mental math trick here, 72 times five will give us 360. That'd be 360. Because again, 72 times 10 is 720. Divide by two, 360. Booyah. So we add that back to the 7,200. We add that back and we're done. 7,560. And just to prove the point, I'll go ahead and do it again over here. Find the 105% of 7,200. The way that we can do this is again, the straightforward way, 1.05 times 7,200. Again, move that decimal over two times. One, two, 1 1.05, and then perform. So here, 7,200 times 1 1.05. This is a little longer, but it'll work still. So we have zero times five, zero times five, two times five, and then seven times five is 35, and we have 36. Then we'll lay out an extra zero here. Then here, zero times zero, zero times zero. Well, everything's gonna be a zero, so it's all good. <laughs> and then next, we'll put two zeros, and then we'll multiply by the one. Zero times one, zero times one, two times one, seven times one. Do you notice some similarities here? 7,200, 360, 360, 7,200. Notice that? Notice that? All right, cool. So let's go ahead and get this done here. Add these back together. Zero, 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 six, five, two. We are going to move that decimal place over. One, two, one, two. And we get an answer of 7,560. We get the same exact number, same exact number both ways. So I really wanted to just take the time here to show you that, again, mental math rocks, all right? Mental math is awesome here. It's gonna help us do a lot of great things simply because with mental math, you're allowing yourself to basically take shortcuts. As long as you understand how to do it, it gives you a much easier time. And so with that said, Remember that if you stayed watching this long, I really would appreciate that you just click that like button, make sure you subscribe to the channel, and maybe leave a comment to let us know that you're supporting us. That way we can keep making videos and keep supporting y'all. And as well, remember, tonight, if you're watching this class today, we are hosting a class on percent word problems, showing you the ins and outs to feel really confident. And even if you miss it, I actually record every single class and have them available in the program, along with tons of extra problems to build your confidence and access to me all the way until you pass. So basically, I got you back. So if you wanna learn more about that, I got you. Just go ahead and shoot me a text. Say that you saw my YouTube video. My number is 567-698-8867. That is my personal line. Feel free to shoot me a text. I got your back. Again, my name is Anderson. I'm an ASVAB coach, and I'm happy to help you succeed. I will see you in the next video, maybe hopefully tonight. Cheers. Hey, thanks for watching. Go ahead and smash that subscribe button up here. That way you can get more great content from us or text ASVAB to that number. That way you can join us for a free class and get a free mini course at the same time. And then look forward to the next video. That way you can continue crushing it and raising your score. Anderson, your ASVAB coach here. See you next time.